Hi guys, welcome back to Ron Pat Bath and Beauty. Well, it is getting to be fall here. I know it's like way late for y'all, but <laughs> I need to make more bath salts um, for the Christmas season. And Ava has never made bath salts with me before, so she is going to be my little helper. Um, Lauren and I have decided to add a fragrance to our bath bombs, or bath bombs, our bath salts, because we only did Man Eater, Never Gonna Give You Up, and um, Don't You Forget About Me. So we had Lavender, Love Spell, and the, uh, what was it? What is the one? What is Never Gonna Give You Up again? Dang Lavender. it. Lavender. Cucumber Wasabi Cilantro. It's a very spa scent. It's great. It's Ava's favorite scent to put in my foot bath. Yeah. So, I have a video that has like over 4,000 views on my first bath salt video. Um, I'm going to link it in the description box because of the very beginning of that video. Um, I explain what I do with my sunflower and baking soda because I bake it. I dry, I dry the oil in the baking soda. It helps, and I also put um, polysorbate um, if you want to. I didn't this time, but I also put my preservative after it cooled down. Um, I put my preservative in it as well. So I had made four cups then, so I still have some. So, but I'm gonna give you the recipe. I gave you guys the recipe last time. We are doubling this recipe because we have to make, you know, so much. So, yeah. all right. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. Here's your cup. We need eight cups. Because my normal recipe calls for four cups of Epsom salt. But no, no. Got to fill it all the way to the top. Yeah, it's all right if it's chunky, because we're gonna we're gonna I mix it. it. So there's one. One. Yep. And this is a sanitary process. Ava and I have been alcoholing everything. Two. Two. Last time it was easier because I had Three. two two pound bags, so it was a lot easier last time. So there's four, so that would be for a single recipe. So we need four more cups. Ooh! And all the, no, no, I get more than that. You want me to break up, break, let me break up that chunk. Nope. Sorry guys, we're having technical difficulties. All right, one. No. Yep, we're starting over. So technically that would be five. So. Technically. Okay. One, two more. Six. Six. Yep. Take it two. Yep, two more. Okay. Yep. It's got to be just hot, baby. That's okay. I know we're getting this ten pound bag of Epsom salt is getting to the bottom. Oh, that's good enough. Whatever. That works. Yep. Yeah. And we need one more after that. There you go. That works. Okay, let it go. Yep. Okay. That's it. That's all right. Let me get this out of the way. I have oh, to. Yeah. I have to uh, do the little zippy tie thing. I'm going to have to buy some more Epsom salt. Alright, this is next. These have bo both been sprayed with alcohol. This is, so that, so, th yeah, so the normal recipe calls for, um, calls for one cup of sea salt. You can use whatever grain you want. But now we're going to use the little one. I mean, I might need my scissors. These have like a plastic thing on them. Yep. There we go. That's what I hate when they put plastic. Okay, so now I'm going to do the, let me show them really quick. Oh, wait. 
I have a piece of that plastic on me. So this is a very coarse grain sea salt. So dump the whole thing in there, baby. And I'll get the, the whole entire thing? Yep, the whole entire thing. And I'll get That's this one. Fun. That's fun. What the? There's still here, let me step on this. It sounds like a jingle bell. <laughs> throw it away in a minute. Plastic. I thought I got the, no, I did the plastic. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. Another one. All right, I'm going to step out of the sterile field so I have to read alcohol when I come back in. <gasps> You're all right. My, my leg is cold. Sorry. Here, let me do it. <coughs> All right. I'm really dancing to it. Okay. So, the normal recipe calls for one cup of kosher salt. Can I do so, it? we are doing two cups of kosher salt. I have to do this one. Sorry, my love. Because look at that's a big old lump there. I'm going to do it by the half cup. Oh, actually, I broke that up. I can... So one, two. They're crunchy. Yeah, that's all right. We're gonna mix that all around. With what? With what? With what? With the. Okay. Okay. So this. <laughs> not ice cream. <laughs> so this is a very, a very, very oop, coarse grain. So two cups. Okay. Um, you didn't make those cups even, did you? I'm pretty sure you didn't. Well, Missy? You had a little more salt and no one will notice. Yeah, um, well. What's that? All the same. This is fine grain like Himalayan, Himalayan salt. Mm, so also the normal recipe calls for one cup, one, one cup but we are using two. outside of that bag. I mean, it's already been sprayed once, but... Can I do it? Yeah, because I touched it up here by the rim. Yeah, there you go. Is that good? Yep. I would have wanted it. That's all right. The, the paper towel is now sufficiently soaking wet. Thank you. Okay, now, this is an optional part of the process. Um, I use powdered milk in both my bath bombs and my bath salts. For two reasons. My company, uh, Ren Pet, was the goddess of uh, time and eternity and beauty. So in ancient Egyptian life, they would take milk baths for, for beauty, as well as, um, believe it or not, milk was used in the embalming process. And much care was taken during, you know, the embalming process. So. The recipe calls for a half of cup, a half a cup of powdered milk. So we just need one of these, all the way filled up. Like that? Perfect. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, let me have a cup, and I'll get rid of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
can smell it if you want to. <laughs> she says it smells terrible. Yeah, yeah, powdered milk doesn't smell that great, but that's why we fragrance everything, right? Okay, I need to be I need to be alcoholed again. Again, I know. Okay, okay. What are you trying to do? Drown me? <laughs> She's trying to drown me, yo. Okay, so that's all for this mixture. I will go over what goes. Oh, you know what? I forgot. No, nope, we're not done. I'm sorry. We have to. We have to spray this tablespoon. I apologize. Yeah. It calls for. Um, where is it? It's in there. Two, 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 two tablespoons of cornstarch. So we'll be doing four tablespoons of cornstarch. Oh, that's my soap. it all comes out. This adds silkiness to the bath, believe it or not. So does the baking soda as well. And the, uh, the powdered milk. Yep, one more. And then I'll give you a paper towel and you can wipe your hand. There you go. That's perfect, baby. There you go. You can put that in the sink. We're done with that. Yep. <laughs> uh. Uh. Why can't we use that? How come we can't what? Because that's a washcloth that has not been sanitized. I'll give you some paper towel. Hold on. Alright, so I'm going to mix this all up and get it, you know, as many of the lumps out of it as possible as well because we don't because we don't want lumps in there. What baby? Can I do it? Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna do it with the spoon first and then we're gonna do it by hand to make sure everything is Oh, my husband must be yelling at my other grandson, not Zayden, but Alex. We have the kids for the weekend. I don't think he expected us to be down here so long. It took me, you know, it took us a while to even get started because, you know, there's so many ingredients. That's the reason, Gabby, he's got a bare glove. Yeah. Yeah, and we will be separating this into four alcohol, three other plus this one alcohol bowls. I don't need to do um, as much um, of the other scents as I do uh, Sweet Child of Mine because Sweet Child of Mine is just being introduced into the line. Okay. 
you want to put your hands in there and mix it don't be rough okay so do you remember how we mix bath bombs let's make sure they can still see go ahead so we want to pull up from the bottom remember yeah pull up from the bottom just one hand you can do two hands and see when you find these little chunkies just break them up Mimi likes to turn the bowl too so that way we're oh did you spill some that's okay no oh, you did it oh did there. I yeah I'm not my bad See a little chunky? I think so. Yeah, I saw a little chunky too. I think we pretty much got it mixed. Looks like I'm all one there. big beautiful thing here. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. Is I am going to grab these bowls that have been sanitized. Oh yeah. And we are going to put I want at least um, two of each of the other scents okay so we're gonna take at least four cups so four cups in there if they're heaping it does not matter Ava yep and put it in here so four cups it doesn't have to be perfect Yep. And each one? Yep. Um, yeah, you need to do a little bit more than that. There you go. What are we making tonight other than... than Cookies! <laughs> yes, we are. Was that four already? No, that was Okay, all right, good. I'm glad you're counting. Put a, just a... Yep, go ahead. And put just a little bit extra in there because that one cup was a little bit shy. Not a whole cup. Not a whole cup. Just a little bit. Yep, yeah. that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side. Oh, Go ahead with this one. Four cups. Whoa. This one's too bad. Two. I have to... Get it? Get more. Okay. All right. That f that was four. Yep. Okay. So that four in this one. Okay. Actually, let's just do two in this one. Um, because man eater, we still have a lot. We no, we still have three, right? Because there's two in the showroom and then one in the thing, right? No. We still have three. Okay, so this will be man eater. This will be sweet child of mine. Oh, let me get this out of the way. You don't need. Okay, so we are. Answer. No, we do not. So we are going to do check, check, check. sweet child of mine. I really want more in there. Crap. See, this is what happens when you're like not really thinking about stuff. A little that much more hot. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna go ahead and make one of each, I guess, and then just do the sweet child of mine. Okay, I need you to alcohol me. You have to have yeah. on me. I forgot to get the cups. You know the little you um, want one more? no, the little uh, cups for our our sample cups. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get our sample cups because when I did the video last time, I didn't show you guys the sample cups, and I want to do that this time. All right, baby, I'll be right back. I just yeah. gotta go in the soap room. I want to say that you again. I want to make Okay, let me spray you. And you spray me. How many squirts? Three? No, two. Yeah, because you like 
alcohol me to death, child. I swear that this seven-year-old girl, who just turned seven, by the way, in August, she could teach a master class on sanitation. She could. We're making lotion tomorrow, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Okay, now. Uh, not on camera. No, we're going to do it on camera. Yeah, we're going to do it on camera. Okay, now, with bath salts, remember how with bath bombs we don't put a ton of color in them? We put even less color in bath salts because mm. we want, and if it's not dark enough, then we will. And I am using micas. I don't use lakes or dyes. Let me put this over here to make sure that there's enough color. Do you wish, my dear, to stir the color in? Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stir it. That was tropical sea green. Tropical. Not. Yeah, tropical sea green is the main color in Sweet Child of Mine. Sweet Child of Mine is one of my favorite fragrances in the whole, in my whole repertoire. That and because it's Camu Camu. I'm sorry, I didn't say, I didn't clarify. That and Lullaby, which is coconut shea. It's fading away. It's fading away. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I think we need a little bit more too. It looks too much like Never Gonna Give You Up, doesn't it? Never Gonna Give You Up is green. Never Gonna Let You Down. Never Gonna Run Around and Hurt You. You said I'd love to my I know. I love you. <laughs> I thought about making it, um, cause it's got gold and blue and purple and red and the tropical sea green. It's a really gorgeous soap. Um, but like I said, the base, it, cause I, it's sitting in the pot swirl. So the main color is the tropical sea green. What do you think? Well, the do you think? It looks like it's super white. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Okay, I'm sure it does, but I, I don't put a lot of color in my thing. Do you think I should put just a teeny bit of blue in here? So, okay, but that means we're going to have to sanitize. No, no. Okay, so let me get some paper towels. Please spray. Oh, is that the right color? No, that's evergreen. We don't want that one. It's okay. No, we want blue. <laughs> blue, my child, blue. Oh, let's put a little teal in there. That'll oh, help. That is kind of dark. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, spray the spray the jar. Stop. Yep, spray it all around. Okay. Oh yeah. And I need to be sprayed. I need to be sprayed. Okay. To myself. Alright, we're going to use the same spoon that we did for the tropical sea green, but this may help to to green this out. Oh, I'm sorry. You stir. Yeah, that may help that. Oh, yeah. Is that better? Oh, that is better. That's going to be way better. I need the alcohol again. I went back over there to put the color away. Oh, that is perfect, oh. Ava. Oh, no, don't worry about it. It'll come off. That is perfect for a sweet child of mine. Oh, 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 sweet child of mine. Oh, 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 oh sorry. <laughs> That's perfect. Right? Okay. It does. It look. It it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, now, this is what I'm talking about with the baking stop with the baking with the baking soda and the oil. I always make too much. I mark it BS with oil, which yes, I know sounds funny, but what I do with the baking soda is I add my sunflower oil to the baking soda. And like I said, the video, the other video will be linked in the description box of how I do that and what measurements I did that at. 
Um, you can do the math, cut it in half, you know, whatever it is you need to do for that. Um, but what I do is I take just under half a cup. I'm sorry, but I'm right here. You're not. Um, take just under half a cup. And then I add my fragrance to that. Now, with fragrance, you gotta grab a pipette. This is very, very low, so I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to get it. Um, with fragrance, you can use anywhere from six to eight milliliters. Yeah, it's too low, baby. It's too low. The, the lavender, we're just gonna dump it all in, I think. So this is two mils. <laughs> Sound like somebody farted. There's four. Six. Is that only by one? No, by two. Oh. So we need one more that's two mils. And that's eight. There we go. Yep, and that's eight. Eight. Eight on two. And what I what I do. Um, I'm going to use the same spoon that I did for my color. Oh, you want to mix it? Put that in the sink. Yep, there you go. Stir it up really good. Kind of getting a little green in it. Let it That's alright. Doesn't matter. It's just a little bit on the spoon. And then what are we going to do? We're going to dump it in there. And I'm going to do it. Yes, you can do it. Go ahead. Dump it. Green. Keep the spoon. Yeah, because there's some, some fragrance still stuck on that spoon. Okay. Now, what I like to do is, is scrape it out. And then I, I run it through the salts. Because the salts will take off the rest of what's on there. What is that? Did you hurt yourself? So we're going to get the salts in there to get that all off. Okay? Use your hands. And mix that baking soda in so everything smells like oh 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 sweet Be child of mine, mine. right? <laughs> Ooh, sweet love of mine. You know what I didn't do, Ava? Grooving the heart. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not doing grooving in the heart. Although your mother would love it. Because that's your mother's favorite. Oh, that so I know, it smells so good. I forgot to alcohol the scale. Because we need the scale. I put this in mason jars. Yeah. So, oh, let me grab the scale. We're going to have, I'm going to have to re alcohol. So, can you alcohol the scale, please? All over the place. You, yeah, you can get it on my shirt. Why not? I Can you spray my hands while we're doing that? Okay, spray my other hand. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. <laughs> now you have that song in your head, don't you? Okay. So this is what I do. Why are you doing it here? Because it doesn't really matter. Oh, I missed my ounces. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to get three. Okay. These have been, oh, there's still alcohol in these, so I need to dry them out. Yeah. Sanitation. Well, because we don't want, oh, what did this say? We don't want the salts to stick. Yeah. Right. In the bottom with it being um bath salts it'll soak up that moisture yeah excuse me excuse me <laughs> are you over singing never gonna give you up no but you know I'm never going to give you up and I'm never going to let you down. Guess what, guys? Ava and her family are moving back into my house. Welcome, Mama. 
Yep. And as it is September 2nd right now, they'll be in here fully on October 1st. And you'll be able to see little Miss Ava all the time, my, oh, yeah. my little soap maker. Now, these are 16 ounce ball mason jars. They will only fit, I just touched my glasses, I got an alcohol again. Um, they will only fit 15 ounces of uh, salt. So what I do is I literally just grab and put put it in there. Ooh, I just dropped some. So that's fourteen eighty. No, that's fifteen ten. So fifteen. And then what I do with um, the uh, tops of them is I put a piece of cloth underneath. Huh? Yeah. Hold on a minute, baby. I put a piece of cloth on the, uh, over the lid of it, you know, the actual piece that goes on here, and then I screw that on there. All right. Go ahead. No, no, no. Put the jar in there. Yep. There you go. Do it again. Perfect. Let's get us, let's, uh, um, yeah. we can use the spoon. Oh, yep, 11.15. So we can use the spoon. I'm not sure that's going to work real well with you being that far away. 12.60. If it spills on the counter, don't worry about it. We can pick it up. See, now it's all over the scale. See, it's all over the scale, baby, so hold on. Let me uh, fill this one up, and then you can, we're not going to have enough for another one, so we'll get to show them the cups, okay? Boop! Now, in these cups, we put four ounces. Let me show you them. They're paper deli cups. I got a small cupcake with just this one. Yep. See, these are these these might be easier for you. You can put, put it, take the cup and put it in there, baby. You don't have. Please don't use the spoon. Okay. Or you can use that. That works too. Try not to get it on the scale. Oh, sorry. That's all right. So we need a little bit more. That's three four. That's three forty five. You don't need that much. Okay, pour until it says four ounces. Oh, oh, oh! That's four seventy-five. That's a little bit of overboard there, child. Four even. Okay, hold on. Boop. All right, next one. Just be careful the way you're pouring it, so you're not pouring it. Do you need a smaller cup? Would that be Would that help? If you had a smaller cup, let me let me do the quarter cup for you. And um, we gotta. Sorry guys, I'm gonna cut this part out. I have to sterilize this, so we'll be right back. And she's off. See that works better, doesn't it? Why don't you try doing it to the side? Yeah, there you go. I mean, you guys get the picture, right? What we're doing. And I do this with the extras for all of my bath salts. And they're not necessarily samples. I mean, I do sell them. Oh, no. That's fine. That's just a little bit over. We'll just add a little bit to that one. How's that? Okay, the rest of I hope this is four ounces. Yeah, you just four Whoa! <laughs> Don't I was about to tell you, we use your hair. I can do boop. If it's not enough, do you want to use this for... 
Yeah. Did you tear it? No. Oh, okay. All right, let me move this ball. It's like a little yeah, long there's, and it's long. Yeah, there's a... Can I do boop? boop? There we go. Okay, so we got three sample, well, small ones, and we got the three uh, we ball containers. Now, one of the things that I do with my customers, you want to put the lids on those? Sure. Um, one of the things I do with my customers is if they return return the uh, jar to me, I fill it up, and they only pay for the product. So then, you know, the cost of the jar comes out of the pricing. It's kind of funny. I have so many regular customers that do that. Uh, it's upside down, baby. Um, they'll or their emulsified sugar scrub or whatever and I will sanitize them in the dishwasher and then of course sanitize them with a bleach solution and then alcohol them and I will remake their product and then again they only pay for the product they don't have to pay for the container it's really funny like I said you know people bring me containers all the time so, okay, yeah, that's it. That is it, our bath salts. Um, let me repeat the recipe for you. And again, if you want to know the process with the baking soda and the sunflower oil, please refer to the video in the description box. I'll also pin the comment, I think. So the normal single recipe is four cups of Epsom salt, uh, one cup of kosher salt, one cup of sea salt, that's whatever grain you want. One cup of pink Himalayan salt. Now, I use two different kinds of Himalayan salt. So there's one cup of fine grain, one cup of large grain. So, and that would be, even if it was a single recipe, that would add salt to mine. Um, we have doo -doo 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 -doo, half a cup of powdered milk. Now, in the baking soda, like I said, um, I use about a half a cup of that, and I use anywhere from three to six milliliters of fragrance oil or essential oil. Um, you can use botanicals if needed, and with the baking soda, yeah, I use a preservative in that baking soda for shelf life. Um, I just you know, I, I just want to make sure that it's going to have a decent shelf, shelf life. And I understand that salt in itself is a preservative, but I like to be able to, to make sure it's there. And I do that at 1%. Sometimes I add poly 80, sometimes I don't. And you could even get away with a poly sorbate 20. So it's totally up to you. Um, I hope you enjoyed our adventure in bath salts. <laughs> what, honey? You can tell that to them louder. I always said them. Oh, she said, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, we got lots of new people coming all the time. Is the West going to be on... Yes, we're not going to do it on camera. We're going to jam to Neo and have a good time. How's that? But we still got to stay completely sterile. We have to we're going to change our gloves. My hands are sweaty. So we're going to we're gonna take a minute. You don't want to change your gloves? Okay, yeah, you can take them off. Get out of the sterile field. Okay, and I got to wipe the counter down anyway before we do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking with us, and we will see you next, well, I think I'm going to make this a Tuesday video, so we'll see you on Friday. Bye.